need some plants up in here. I got plants in my crib. They keep dying. Oh, you don't got pause a green thumb yet? Nah. I got pink thumb. Hey, Yo! Hey. What's going on? Look at you all soft-spoken on that yeah. chill tip. Yo, give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you need a hug. What's wrong with you? It's one of those days. One of them women days, or? No. My son's oh. birthday was the other day. So it just got me like, oh. Your son? Yeah. When I was a teenager, I had two boys. I tried to raise them myself. And it was hard, like I couldn't. My mom helped me find a great family to adopt them. It's not an open adoption, but I do know like where they are. Have you spoken to them? No, it has, it's been a long time, like since they were kids. So they got memories of you basically, your boys. I'm pretty them. sure. Oh, uh, uh, Teddy about the Teddy pin to grab that ass. Yo, Listen, shut girl. up, Yo, Why you gotta be a Come here. <laughs> this guy is just a strong, vibrant, energetic, positive being. But when it comes to her kids and all stuff, like, it's her kryptonite, you know what I mean? This is the one thing that can really, like, break Superwoman. They birthday come around, I just be like, oh, I want to show up today at school and be like, yo, I, I, even though I know that's creepy, but that's not creepy. The boys are teenagers now, and I see them on social media. Like, you see them on a computer screen, and you're able to, like, to do that. But you can't really do that. When's the last time you actually spoke to them? I, when I was younger, like, when I got home from my first bed. Like, I came home, I took them, um, I'm gonna be high, kid. Okay. And I took them trick or treat, and I saw the people in the neighborhood. And my kids had already had some type of like love for them and relationship. And I seen the way they look at them, like. They go on trips, they go to, they've been like to Dubai and like places that I, I've I've done. been to Dubai? Like they've been they so, right. they've done so many things as a family and as a unit. So like, I'm really happy with the decision that I've made. I stayed out of my children's life on purpose. I've always said that I've waited till they were 18. But now that I'm at this point in my life, I don't know if it's the right thing to do to make contact. It's hard though. On your end, you're saying, I don't want to mess up no routine that they got going. But they could be on their end thinking that you hate them. Thank you, bro. So it's like, I just don't want them to think that. Like, my mom gave me to this family, and she don't love me. Because that's not the case. I already loved them. And at that time in my life, I was dead up. And I wasn't in a good space to ever take care of two young men. I couldn't do that. <laughs> I knew I couldn't. I just want them to know, like, yo, I love the out of you. Just I need them to know that. Like, I need them to know that. Like.